So what's going on guys, Ryder Box here and welcome back to some more MotoGP 2021 mod here on the PC and we're today going to be racing as the man that everybody sort of quietly expected to win the 2020 championship and that's Fabio Quattararo, especially after his start, the back-to-back -back wins at the double Haref Grand Prix weekend so yeah everybody sort of accepted it but I guess you could say he kind of bottled it but you know the pressure of everything such an unpredictable season you can't blame it it's such a tough tough old season which unfortunately didn't go Quattararo's way but hopefully when he joins the factory team next season in MotoGP 2021 he will find his form again and hit the ground running out of the opening Grand Prix at Qatar but we're going to head out to Le Mans for today on this mod. We're going to try him out on the factory Yamaha. So let's head down to the grid and see how we get on. So then in terms of tyres, I'm going to go soft front. I'm going to go for a medium rear. Um, coming from the back of the grid, I think we're going to need that soft front tyre. Hopefully it doesn't overheat on us. I don't think it will. So let's go racing then. You can see front row, Morbidelli, Marquez and Zarco. Our fellow Frenchman Zarco, of course. So... Let's see what we can do coming from the back of the grid. Another 25% race as, been do, as we've been doing on these other ones. Sorry, choking on my words there a bit. But let's go racing then. You can see Zarko on that Pramac. Pretty cool to see, isn't it? But here we go, Al Diablo. We've already kind of seen this from last year's game when I modded Quattararo to the, um, <laughs> the factory team. But anyway, let's go racing. Get ourselves a decent launch. Whoa! Whoa, I've wiped out attack three there. And Egan us trying to fight our way through the grid, through the flip-flop here. I'm going to give everyone plenty of space. I don't want to get knocked off. We're getting alongside Marini then. Oh, dropping down the hill a little bit out of shape there. Oh, is that Savadori there? Trying to get underneath of us. And Bastianini, Bastianini through. Yeah, let's get him back. Let's get him back. Oh, look at that. Or was it Aleish? Can't tell who it is. I think it's Salvadori, but he's through. Oh, yeah, there's Aleish. Going around the outside. Sneaky, sneaky from Cotteraro at his home Grand Prix. Let's go down this back straight. Palmo too. Everyone's a little bit twitchy out here. Zarko's gone for the front row all the way back to P13. I've already made it to the back of Valentino Rossi, flicking it through that chicane, lovely, getting alongside the factory KTM. Lovely stuff. Oh, oh giving Reigns a bit of a bash there. You can do that in these exhibition races. It's not career mode or anything. Oh, a bit deep into that. Trying to avoid running into the back of our teammate, that is one thing you've always got to not happen. But Marquez leads them from Morbidelli, Paul Spargaro and Jack Miller. And then Alex Marquez in P5. Here we go then on the run into this first chicane, which is actually turn three, I think. Turn, yes, turn three and turn four. We're through on our teammate and we're going to slot in front of Oliveira there. In front of the KTM, dropping down the hill. This is going to be tight next year. Quattararo for Yamaha, Mark Marquez for Honda, as long as he makes it back. And Mir for Suzuki. That is going to be a nice championship battle. Probably the guys you'd expect to be battling next season for the championship. But one thing about Marquez, of course, he uh, he's undergone more surgery on that shoulder. I was reading the article the other day, and uh, they're going to remove the original plate from the surgery, replace it with a new plate, and then they're doing sort of some sort of bone graft I think on his shoulder it's about six months recovery which now if it's December when he's had it it's gonna be about May time next year before he's recovered but you know what Marquez is like though superhuman saying that superhuman fast lap of the race from him but I've just gone a lot quicker we seem to have a lot more pace than the AI but uh, yeah six months recovery which means he might not be at full fitness by the time Qatar comes around, but you know, he's not going to want to miss out on another year in the championship, is he? So we get alongside his brother, can't power out of there. The Honda got too much acceleration 
Ferrari, Yamaha, Morbidelli holding on for P2 for now, but Mark Marquez pulled the pin a little bit. Poles all over the back of him. Poles going to want to get through on him, or else uh, Marquez will check out, and you don't want that. And at the minute, I don't want that either. Oh, give his brother a bit of a nudge. He ain't going to like that. The young Frenchman, Quattararo, age 21, he's younger than me. <laughs> he, uh, he's on a bit of a mission. Let's go. The Palmo 2, plenty of fuel on board this factory M1. We can afford to run Palmo 2 for a little bit. Got to get past the, uh, the factory Ducati of Miller. We do him at that chicane. It, this bike just turns so much better than the Ducati. Ooh, give him Paul a bit of a nudge there. We obviously rode the factory Ducati with Jack Miller last time at Phillip Island. And uh, the rear tyre just went on us completely. Weren't able to look after it. Don't know if it's a characteristic of the bike or just me at that track. Don't know what it was. But uh, yeah, very early on we ran out of rear tyre. It's not what you want. But right now, we've got the run on pole, power mode 2, slipstream and everything. Lining him up for turn 3, getting the bike flipped over. Job done on Paul Spargo. He had his chance to get past Morbidelli. He couldn't make it work. And now it's our chance to get past our former teammate and go after Mark Marquez. Current race leader. Oh, Paul hasn't given up. <laughs> he hasn't given up, and why would you expect him to? Whoa, he's gonna have gone deep there. Someone right. Yeah, no, he's still there. Still there. Right, I need to try and get past Morbidelli. Sector 2 traditionally round at this circuit. I generally lose pace to the AI. But we're going to make it work. Here we go. This next sector is going to work for us. Pick up some slipstream. A very distant toe as well from Morbidelli. Breaking at the end of this straight into the chicane. Nicely at turn 9 and 10. Flick it over, hitting those apexes perfectly. Lock at us all over the back of Morbidelli. We're just lining him, on, lining him up. Whoa! Yes, for through. Didn't expect to do it there. He just ran deep and I went in the inside. And we just committed. We got the job done. Next up, Mark Marquez then. We've got three laps to go to close down the Spaniard. And defeat Repsol Honda here today. Three laps to go. One second gap. And an overtake to do. Let's do this. Line up, turn two. Now into the chicane, take the uh, bit deeper mistake there from us. Turn down the wick a bit. Save some fuel for when we're going for an overtake or something. Just help us down the straight, but the gap's still nine tenths. The first half of the lap, if we, uh, if we make a mistake in sector one especially, we're going to lose time to the AI. So it's all about the second half of the lap for us. So we're going to line them up. We might actually successfully be able to do a last to first on this mod. So let's see, half a second now. I've massively messed up this run here. But I know we're strong on the brakes into this chicane. Very strong, very, oh, very strong. Had to really slam on the anchors there to avoid running into the back of Mark Marquez but sticking it with him just going to follow him a little bit we'll go for an overtake on the next lap I think rather than sitting behind I need to just go for it when the opportunity comes here we go then let's line him up maybe oh okay maybe the final two corners not quite he defends that line well oh I've double shifted out the final corner oh dear we've lost a lot of time there Morbidelli still behind us they're all battling away. But here we go, top of the hill. Again, we're just good on the brakes on this M1. Such a nice, stable bike on the brakes. Especially at the hands of Fabio Cotteraro. I don't know if the riders make a difference when you're playing as real riders, whether they have different characteristics, but Cotteraro on this factory M1 feels smooth as smooth as anything you know it's very Lorenzo-esque and here we go then it's quite a short lap 
to be honest, it really is. I'm gonna line him up palm mode too. Oh, run him deep there, squeeze him to the exit. Let's go. Oh, cut him off. <laughs> oh, he will not be happy with that. Palm mode two down the straight, and it's all about. Oh, what's he looking behind for? He's gonna lose time for standing up on his bike. He obviously thought there were more riders behind him. Oh, I've messed up turn three and four. Poles through, Miller's through on Morbidelli. It was a matter of time. I think Morbidelli lost pace a little bit. It's about can we stay ahead now of Marquez. This is the first time leading with clear air in front of us. And not following anyone. So can we can we keep it ahead? Let's go Palmo 2. One more lap to go. This could be our victory lap. Marquez keeps looking behind. I don't know why. Obviously worried about his teammate catching up, but I can go for Palmo 2 pretty much all the way around here. Let's see if we go for fastest lap. I might be a bit quiet while we try and go for it. Qualifying style lap. If we've been it, we've been it. It doesn't matter. We're not up for points here today. I'm just going to go for it. Drop down the hill now. At turn 6, Le Chapel. Trying to get that fastest lap of the race. Since we've got so much pace and time in the bag. We can afford to go for it. We've got plenty of fuel as well. Take a nice tight line around turn seven. Bit wide on exit. The tyres don't have the grip as they have earlier on in the race, but we're still pulling away. Pole is now ahead of Mark Marquez. Don't know if he's got damage or something where we made contact with him. Again, the front end just isn't biting up. We shimmy on wide on this final lap of the race. Just flat out asking for the power. Into turn nine then. Flick it over, hit the apex at 10, beautiful stuff. Again, power mode 2 now. And the short sprint to the braking zone at turn 11, 1.6, the gap to Aspargaro behind. Round turn 12, and I thought the bike was going to fold then. A few more corners to go, bring it round the final two, a bit wide at the exit of 13. But we can square it off at the exit of turn 14, the final corner. What's the lap time going to be? A 131 flattish was that. That was quick. Let's see if we've got fast lap of the race. 31.1, it was fast lap of the race. Look at that. But Polis Bargro, he went quick on that final lap. Look, 31.9. 31.7 from Oliveira. 31.8 from Nakagami. 31.6 from Brad Binder. 31.3 from Bastianini there closest to fastest lap but unfortunately for him we managed to take it there you go let's look at the results so Paul Espargo and Marquez Miller Morbidelli Marquez again Oliveira Mir Rins Nakagami Rossi Binder Magnaia Vinales Bastianini Martin Mairini Lequona Petrucci Salvadori Zarco and Elise so there you have it so what a thoroughly enjoyable race that was Fabio Quattararo on this M1 Yamaha He's a machine. <laughs> He's a machine riding a machine. He's unstoppable. So smooth. So much grip. On the brake, so much stability. What a combo on this game. Quattararo on the M1 Yamaha. At a track like Le Mans as well. Absolutely love this track on this game. Feels fantastic. Especially when you brake from top speed into that chicane at turn 9 and then flick it over for the second part of the chicane at turn 10 one of my favourite corners and also turn 3 and 4 of that chicane that is beautiful it felt beautiful on this M1 I don't know what it is I can't describe it maybe we need to go back to Yamaha in career mode and uh We'll just see. We'll, we'll see what happens. But thoroughly enjoyable race. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, remember to smash the like button. Share it around with your friends. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch you in the next one.